we've spent almost the last hour mostly us asking the whole you time, questions. Yes. Yeah. So so like um by all means, if you want to take it a different direction, that's okay. I I, I do think there's maybe an interesting point to go over in in the scriptures you were just talking about talking about god's specific will and his glory mm -hmm. um right. that i think maybe could get us to a interesting point of understanding maybe um but i know that we've just asked you a ton of questions so if you have questions for us and you want to do that first uh by all means we can do that i, I just wanted to ask one i just want to ask one thing yeah which bible do you use uh i use multiple bibles Hold on, I'm trying to get this different. I mean, I read from two different translations. I read from ESV and NIV just now. Because, but because it, I mean, it sounds like it sounds like your theology is very heavily built. I mean, it is it is rock built on your interpretation of one of whatever translation of the Bible that you're using, right? Oh I mean, no, no, that's why I mentioned the Greek word underneath there just now. Remember? And and, and yes, well, that Greek word comes from a particular. It's not a source document. Right. Again. Well, no, no, no. The way the, the way the translations works is they're collations of manuscripts. Okay. So you get a Greek printed text, okay. but it's collated from actual ancient manuscripts. And that is what it says in Ephesians 1 and our oldest manuscripts of Ephesians 1. It so says the, that. The word, well, the word manuscript means written by hand. By the no, hand no, of Paul. not in not in biblical technical language. MSS yeah. is specifically ref in, well, the MSS. If you're going to quote you, Praursus to me, then then manuscript is perfectly legal to say it's written by hand. No, no, but I'm, I know, but that is what they are written by hand. But I'm just saying, th th specifically in this category, I'm just talking about things. Wait, hold on. Oh, are you gonna are you gonna say that that's not the word there? No, is that it's where just, you're going? It's just the, it's just interesting that everything that you're saying is heavily dependent upon. Your interpretation of the Bible when the Bible is not self cognizant. The Bible Ooh, never, so, so, the Bible so never that, says, like, this is what the Bible says. The word Bible doesn't appear in the Bible. So, I'm yes. just trying to think of all that. We're, we're very much, the LDS theology is very much concerned with the 99 billion people who never had a chance to hear or read the word Bible in their entire lifetime. We're very concerned about the rest of God's human family that is just hopelessly damned according to your interpretation of the Bible when the Bible didn't even exist. I mean, didn't even exist for most of human history. And so and that's why the Bible that. says, how will they hear without a preacher in Romans? Doesn't it say that in Romans 10? How will they hear it without a preacher? We put in context. They, so the Bible so says tough a lot. luck. <laughs> no, but my point is what you're saying is, so that's why Christian missions have always existed. It's for that very they reason. They have not always existed. That is not true. Christian missions existed. have existed. Christian missions have existed since the foundation of the church. And and they what about the billions of people have. who lived on earth before that? What about the what about some? Well, that's that's a question. In India, who's but, never heard uh, the word Jesus Christ in his entire life? So do you understand? Speech? These are arguments. These are arguments that 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 all people who deal with the New Testament have to ask and answer. Right, because mm -hmm. you're not you're not asking me as a reformed person. This is what you're asking God. No, what I'm saying. What is about that, all the people well, we before? An right. Well, we have an answer. Our <laughs> answer is that the Bible that you're using is not closed canon. That's our answer. That, our on, answer that's is a that separate issue canon. from. That's a separate issue, though. It's not. No, it's not. It's, not it's because you basically. Yes, it is. Because if, if, okay, regardless of if the canon, let's, let's table the, is the, is the canon closed or not? The word predestined seal still appears in multiple times in all of our Greek manuscripts. That's not a variant well, there. That's not something. I mean, Zip do. No child reads the book, reads the Bible and comes away saying, yeah, there's no such thing as choice and wait, free wait, no, will. No. Oh, my I, good well, grief. Okay. Don't, don't say no. Zip -dee -dee Okay. Exactly now, a few yes, things, a few things. One is, I don't think it's a good idea to appeal to a child's understanding of what the Bible should be. Number one. Uh, like number two, <laughs> number two, I mean, a child right. can, a child can read what is necessary for salvation and understand it. Right? What does Paul tell I'm Timothy? I'm still not understanding this. Can somebody help me? <laughs> so Hold I on. Can I, can, Paul argument. tells Timothy okay. that the scriptures that his mother and grandma have taught him since he was young are, able, are, are sufficient for salvation. So he can understand the basics of them. So we we don't agree with the LDS claim that scripture is not clear. Timothy never it's a had key, the, it's a, he it's a key Protestant it's a key, po key Protestant doctrine that we we call the perspicuity of scripture that the main things of scripture are indeed clear. And that's what Wait, so part am, of the, am I part condemned of the or no? One last Part of the beef between Rome and the Protestants was that Rome said, hey, this is not clear. You regular people can't have this in your hands. You will interpret it wrong. Mm -hmm. 
And the Protestant said, no, let even the plowboy know the scriptures better than the king, right? And so there's a strong disagreement there within that issue. Well, but like none of that gets away from what Ephesians 1 plainly says. A lot of what you're saying, you got to understand, is highly sectarian, meaning it's specifically coming from your place and your background, which I understand, but it's not it's not appealing directly to the scripture, which is the main word, place it's going to convince guys like me. Agreeing with your interpretation of of the word predestination, and to add on to Jonah's point, Timothy didn't have the Bible. The New Testament. Timothy writings, certainly did have the scriptures. No, he did not. No, have, the he the did New not. Testament we're speaking about I, was being made. I, I you didn't say DVD okay. while you're in the movie, it wasn't right? Guys, closed. guys, it wasn't you need, canon at the if time. If I say a word, I'm, unless I mess up, I mean the word. He did have the grapha. The, that's the Greek okay, word that's for writing. That's what we're talking about. No, Dude, because I'm not talking, talking about, about Timothy New having Testament the right New Testament. I'm not talking about but Timothy having Jonah the New Testament. About. That's my point. You, you, uh, <laughs> okay, Timothy, hold on, hold, Timothy hold had access to the Old Testament, okay. and he would have had access know, to part no, of the no, New Testament because he was living in it. That's not true at all. That's not at all true. Well, What's not true? Have access to the Old Testament. I, I the Old think, Testament I didn't exist. Can I, can I well, settle down? Can I prove to you he did? Paul quotes the book of Luke in Timothy. Okay, in the book, he quotes it. Vocab, vocab, vocab. I, uh, you guys, just, yeah. everybody settle down. You're talking past each other. <laughs> I think what these guys are saying is the Bible and it's 20, at least the New Testament and it's 27 accepted canonical books wasn't closed canon until we basically argued about it in the third, fourth and fifth centuries. Mm -hmm. So the writers of those individual books in the first and second centuries didn't have that closed canon that we now call the Bible. What vocab is saying is that no, no, well, th well, they had the grapha, they had the books that would become it, and they had the, the knowledge and the, and, and the inspiration. They had the Bible 1.0. It wasn't, it hadn't gone through beta testing and been closed canon for another 300 years and became the 3.0, but they had the 1.0, and that's good enough. Is that a fair enough representation of what you're trying to say? Partially, but I was being a little, I was saying they have the Old Testament in essence was what I was saying. Oh, okay. The Old Testament. Then, then that's, that's what I was focused on. But, well, but can I just Paul be the does quote for one second. <clears throat> but Paul does quote Luke in the, in the book of Timothy. He quotes yes, and, Luke. And Jesus Christ quotes the Old Testament and Jude quotes the book of Enoch. Sure. Great. They all quote each other. No, no. But the point is that the New Testament was is in existent because Paul quotes it to Timothy. We, we, okay. know, it, we know at least Luke was there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, hold on. I just, I, I just yeah, that's at least, one. at least yeah. what I'm saying. And so, specifically in the case of Timothy with Paul. Yeah. yeah. How many roads, too many signs. I can't read them. Would I recognize the turn even if I seen it? Been driving all 